Good morning, this is Brian. Um, grace and peace to you from God our Father and Lord Jesus Christ, Philippians 1 2. Uh, we're the, in the second part of a little series on conflict resolution. The last uh, time we looked at uh, Matthew 18 15 through 17, and then Matthew 7. Uh, I encourage you to read Matthew 7 1 through um, 6. Uh, Matthew 7 deals with, you know, most of us are aware, uh, familiar with that as, uh, you know, why should I take the log out of my brother's eye when I, or the speck of my brother's eye, I'm sorry, when I need to take the log out of my own eye? Uh, so continuing in dealing with um, conflict resolution, we, again, we defined it, conflict as a difference of opinion, idea, or expectation. That's by Gary Smalley. So where did conflict really first begin? Well, we need to go back to the garden. Uh, you know, uh, Genesis 3, 1 through 13 man, Adam's first conflict and response. So we need to look at what Adam emo felt emotionally and how did he choose to respond when confronted. Now remember, yeah, we, there's no doubt that, that Eve took of the fruit first uh, and then Adam chose to also. Um, he tried to hide, which is guilt. He was afraid, fear. He was naked, so he felt shame. So think about those three emotions, guilt, fear, and shame. Um, drove him to do something he never did before. That was to separate from God, you know, who he had a very intimate relationship with. Many of us, uh, either in ourselves or people that we know, struggle with these three emotions, guilt, fear, and shame. Maybe something's happened to them in the past, they had no control over everything like now, but because it hasn't been, uh, it's unresolved, it still gnaws at, at them. So we are in a season of change. Sometimes that causes conflict. Why do you suppose that is? We are, we are creatures of comfort. We like things comfortable. We like things set in a certain way, whether it's a church service, in our home, uh, at the job, whatever it is. So there's a couple questions we should look at. How was conflict handled or managed in my family of origin or your family of origin? In my family of origin, uh, when, when mom or dad were basically jumping on my sister and I, I was the oldest, uh, we weren't allowed to have an opinion uh, that was different or to express something uh, that was automatically considered back talk and uh, there was consequences for that. So, let's look at a possible why you and I choose to respond to conflict the root. And it goes back to our family of origin, as I've just mentioned. You know, it's amazing the impact our family has on us for those 15 to 19 years that we live at home and then move out on our own. Uh, we tend to do those things that we know, good, bad, or indifferent. Proverbs 27, 19 says, As water reflects the face, so and life reflects the heart. You know, think about that. What's 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 being reflected in our in our life? And here's some uh, uh, thing to look at. Not only do when we leave home, do we do we try and recreate uh, family circles, whether it's uh, social networking, the friends that we have, or we leave home and in today's society, most people tend to live with somebody, but or get married and have kids. Um, here's something to think about too. Just as people look for spouses who will allow them to practice the relational styles they learned in the, their dysfunctional childhoods, so too do they look for churches built on relationship style which with they are familiar. Many times, unfinished business from a family of origin will be acted out within the church family. And that's a quote from Dave Cater from the book Unlocking Your Family Patterns. Excellent read. So here's another question to think about. Which of the four divorce patterns do you and I tend to use during a conflict or confrontation? Again, withdrawal avoidance, which is the time out, no time in. Escalation, do we tend to get loud and that kind of thing? Do we invalidate or do we negative interpretate? Here's something to think about too. In relationships, especially when we're talking about a spouse, having a spouse, we tend to choose the opposite of who we are. You know, gen and that again, generally speaking, that's not 100%. And here's something else to think about. 
At the core of our own negative behavior is an attempt to get our legitimate needs met in illegitimate ways. Unfortunately, the Bible calls this sin. That's a quote by June Hunt. And again, we're looking for acceptance to be loved. We're looking for security, who I am. We're looking for significance, what I do. That's all found in Jesus Christ. Well, thank you. Have a great day.